I've got a collector calling my mother's neighbors three to four times a week, and no surprise, neighbors are upset. How do I stop this? Well, if you saw the previous part of this video, uh, there's something called location information under the FDCPA, or Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Location information is a debt collector can contact what's called a third party, so a third party is just somebody other than you or your spouse. So a neighbor would be a third party. Then contact third party and say, I need home address, home phone, place of employment. Now they can only do that if they don't have that information. If they already have that information, they have no reason to call your neighbor. Now, if they uh, call and neighbor says, look, here's the information, or I'm not going to give you the information, don't call back again, then they don't need to call that same neighbor again. And if they already have the location information, then calling any neighbor would be illegal. So that would be the first step we look at. We say, you know, why is this debt collector calling? Now, I'll give you the typical reason. It's because when they call your neighbors, it's very embarrassing. You know, your neighbors see you, they kind of holler across, hey, somebody's calling you, or they come knock on your door. Very, very embarrassing. It harasses the neighbors and then the neighbors come to you because they're bothered by this. Or in this situation, they go to the daughter of this person who supposedly owes money and they say, look, somebody keeps calling me. I need you to stop it. Well, if we have a debt collector breaking the law and when they're calling neighbors, I'm going to say 95% of the time they are breaking the law, then the solution is we sue that debt collector under the FDCPA, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Now they have to start paying money damages, they have to pay their attorneys, they have to pay your attorney, and that shuts them down very quickly. Because they get it through their brain, they go, oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't be breaking the law. Because it becomes very expensive to break the law. So if you're in this situation, just get a notepad, get your phone, whatever you need, start writing down. Who's calling? Ask the neighbor. What phone numbers? They may can look on their cell phone, their home phone, get your caller ID. There may be a voicemail. But find out who's calling, what phone numbers, when did they call, and then talk to a lawyer. If you're in Alabama, you can certainly give us a call, 205-879-2447. And let's look at that situation. If it's legal, if it's proper, then we'll talk to you about here's what you do next. But if it's illegal, and it almost always is when we're dealing with collectors calling neighbors, particularly in this particular question, I think it was uh, three or four times a week. I mean, that's just crazy. That's like 99.9% .9 illegal. Then normally the best solution is you sue these guys under the FDCPA, Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. And once they have to start paying out money, then they suddenly go, whoa, whoa, we want to leave you alone. We'll never bother you again. So that can be a great solution to it.